So we're back at York Races for this Thursday. It's day two of the Dante Festival. Some incredible racing to look at for the Thursday. And we've got a few more selections. So with no further ado, let's take a look at what we're going for this Thursday at York Racecourse. So we start at 2.15. It's a wide open handicap to start the day off. It's the Lindham York handicap and it's over the five furlongs. So it's going to be fast and furious this one. Lots of the handicaps at York this week are pretty wide open. And this one is very much the same. But a couple we like the look of here at decent prices. On the bottom there we've got Copper Knight 12 to 1. Really, really like Copper Knight. Fancy him to go pretty well here. And certainly if you can get announced places, he should give you a good run for your money as long as he gets out the gate pretty quick. Has won at York an incredible, yes, seven times. Seven victories for Copper Knight at York, which is quite uh, an achievement, including last year back in July. Can he run well again? I think he can. His mark looks okay. And certainly feel that at that type of price, he should run pretty well. Mondemege is the next one. We like the look of an even bigger price, around about 20 to 1 horse that has run at York before. And has run pretty damn well in the past as well. Pretty indifferent horse, this horse. You never know quite what you're going to get. It's a quirky, it's a quirky horse. He is, but uh, he's certainly very capable of achieve, achieving some decent results and has had some success in the past. Not so much this year, but you know, can he turn it around at York? Well, who knows? But at that price, given. Uh, his ability, I certainly feel it's worth a little each way punt. That's the first race at York on Thursday. So 2.45, it's another big handicap, the Hambleton handicap. And another couple of horses at pretty big prices. These are each way bets against Again, Point Linus here, 10 to 1. This horse likes York a lot. Two uh, seconds last year and a first in 2022. We know he can run well at York. We know he likes running well at York. Really, really good attitude this horse as well. Uh, will always run, give you a good run for your money. His two seconds last year were at 9 to 1, 18 to 1. His win the year before was at 25 to 1. So, you know... Uh, 10 to 1, a bit skinnier uh, than that win, but understandably so, given how this horse performs at York. Point Linus, like that one for each way. Another one at a slightly bigger price, Catch the Paddy. Kevin Ryan trained horse. Fancy this one to outrun run those odds. Certainly a lot of potential, not a great run at Newmarket. Back in April, but we know this horse had a pretty decent year last year, including a second at York. Winning at Newmarket as well. Uh, well, a couple of seconds at York, in fact. And, uh, you know, I, I do feel that at that type of price, in a wide open handicap, catch the paddy, certainly worth a little each way bet. So next we skip along to the 4.15 race, the Westo Stakes. Again, it's this short and fast and furious. This race is over five furlongs. Fascinating race. This big Evs leads the field. It's going to be an odds on. Currently around 8 to 11. Uh, incidentally, big Evs. Only bad run was at York last year, finishing 14th of 16 at the Ebor Festival. That was the race that Living the Dream won. However, in this one, I like one at a bit of a price. Not going for big Evs, although big Evs is likely to perform well. But I like Dark Vintage 14 to 1. A horse seen running over in the States last year and pr running pretty well with some good performances at 
both Del Mar and Santa Anita last year had a run at Sandown last month. Not the best of runs there, but certainly feel there's a lot of potential in this horse and capable of getting better. We will see. Right, all the best for these Thursday selections. Good luck if you're going to York this week. Good luck if you're having a bet at home on any horse race, including York this week. And speak again soon. Take care all.